I'm glad I know how to use this cheese chop. So, uh, you're that gang got the ranch, right? Yeah, that's right. Michael Terry. Uh huh. Name's Keller. Good to see you here. Yeah, I arrested a couple kids, ended up at your ranch. Huh? And I don't see him anymore. <laughs> so that means you must be doing a good job, right? <laughs> this is not exactly my style. Take it easy, relax, relax. I feel if I reach for one of those egg rolls, they're going to cough me. Look, man, these are some fine people. The guy that they're honoring tonight is a great cop. It's good for you and Michael to be here. Huh? Yeah. We're all on the same side. And this guy's good. What do they call him down at the courthouse? Street cleaner. I don't suppose that's for neatness. Ladies, gentlemen. Keller, they got doggy bags. <laughs> Detective Roland Blake won this last year. And he might have won it the year before that, but it went to a better cop. Who was that anyway? I can't remember. It was me and you know it, Blake. Don't give me a hard time. <laughs> so it gives me great pride to present the Francis Teal Award for Outstanding Community Service. Uh, what day? Say last time? You said, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I really appreciate this. Well, some of us got to go to work pretty soon. Let's uh, let's open up these fortune cookies. Huh? Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, Chinese food gives me gas. Maybe they appreciate what you do. They don't have the faintest idea what I do. The only thing they know about the streets that they drive on. My well, new partner, come on. I got someone to introduce you to. Let's go. Who's that? It's my new homie, Miller. Twist. Place to meet you. Well, how's it going? Getting by. Getting high. Getting high, huh? Santos got a thing coming down. Oh, yeah? When? I don't know. A couple days, a week, maybe. Buyers of some dudes he don't like. Man looking for a stand between. They need someone they can trust, huh? Like you? Hey, I got no death wish, man. Wish this is what we've been waiting for, right? Maybe. Well, you can make sure, huh? Can't you? I'm pleased to meet you.
Got a light? Huh? Hey! Hey! Come on, what else you got? Come on. Hey, let's get out of here. Hey, Pin. Yeah, it's little Willie. It's past your bedtime, you know. Don't got no bed. Give me a couple needles. What? What are you doing with something like that? You're not a junkie. They're for my dad. And what's your dad's name? Look, I tell you what. I bet you I can find a place for you to sleep tonight. Hey, man, you know Twist? Twist. Black guy. Crackhead. Yeah, he just got rolled. Where? Two needles. Jim, I'm just gonna check this out. You better be on the right track with this one. Hey! You owe me. You're going to the wrong business school, my friend. Twist. No, it hurts. It's all right. It's me. It's pain. I come to help you. They got my pipe, man. They took my pipe. You're lucky. They did you a favor. Look like the mash up pretty bad. You're going to the clinic. No. No, please. They're just going to check you out, man. No, it's all right. I got a friend. Damn right. Uh, Me. Uh, you like it for that, too? You coming on? Uh, uh. Are you OK? Everything is cool, officer. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, but I'm from 1117. I said, are you all right? Yeah, I'm cool. Is he bothering you? No. Don't bother him. So you're an informer? No, man. You said you had a friend. That's your friend? No, shut up. Some other cop then. Hear me, man. You and me, we're fighting the same enemy. Promise me that you won't tell nobody. Some people kill me if they found out. Come on, man. I'll do what I can. I promise. You're strong all of a sudden. No broken bones. You can go back to work. I'm OK. I just have to get back on my feet, that's all. I'll be all right. You sure? Yeah. All right, cool. Irie. Help me, man. I will, man. I will. All right, hold tight now. Come to the van. What's happening? Everything's sweet and dandy, man. Eh? Where is he? Inside. Now let's go. Wait, Michael. There's something I didn't tell you when I asked you to do this. But you really should know now. Pen, 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 why is it every time you recommend a kid for the rats or something you didn't tell me? Since when? Well, I have a good reason this time. Somebody's after him? A gang? No. Worse? He's radioactive? <laughs> He's an informer for some cop. Ah, I hate doing this. He made me promise I wouldn't tell anybody. Then why'd you tell me? Because you have to know. But you have to swear not to tell him you know. 
Especially that I told you. Because then he won't trust either of us, right? He wants out, Michael. But he doesn't know how to go about it. He really wants to get off the ride. Is that everything? Let that hold you for now. Smart guy. Twist. This is the man I told you about. Hey, Twist. Hi. My name's Michael. Pleased to meet you. Why don't you hop in? I don't know why I'm doing this, man. I mean, how many kids you got at this place anyway? Six, counting you. And they're all like me, right? <laughs> I don't know. What do you like? Well, I mean, from the street. Yeah, some. But you'll meet them all. They can tell you about themselves a lot better than I can. And what do you get out of it? I get to help. Box. I'd like you to meet Twist. Hi. How's it been going? Don't ask, Michael. Okay. For starters, that crazy kid Zoe's hidden all the cutlery. Won't tell anyone where it is. What, the spoons and the forks, too? I did find one spoon under the sink. You will be sharing it tonight. Right. What's the matter? You never seen a horse before? No. You're interested in taking a closer look? <laughs> I'll bet you something. I'll bet you that I have you up and riding by the end of tomorrow. No way, lady. Oh, I do. And you can call me Fox. See you, Fox. See you. Come on. Who's on supper tonight? Me. Oh. Well, did you know that all the cutlery was missing? Yeah. I made something simple. Yeah, but we don't have any spoons, man. So? So you made soup. I didn't make the table. Old Indian trick. Thanks. Uh, has everybody met Twist? Yeah. Better get in there quick. I don't know. Maybe you deed or something. Nah, it's only been a couple of days. He's probably hanging around Santos all the time, so it doesn't look like he's got any other agenda. The kid's good, he's never let me down. I'm not worried about him. No, you're not, are you? Hey, I'm the best thing he's got, and he knows it. Yeah, right. The kid doesn't know anything else. Look, you think we're talking about potential astronaut material here? I don't think so. We take risks, so does he. We get paid, so does he. You know how hard it'd be to find out what's going on down the street without someone like Twist around? OK, OK, I know. You're right. You're damn right I'm right. Let me tell you something else. You ask that kid, he'll tell you he's one of the good guys. Ain't many kids in this situation can say that. You get your seatbelt on. We got more places to look. Unbelievable. Ready? No big deal. Just relax. He's on around him. Go ahead. Grab the grab the horn like I showed you. Don't drop the lines. Pick up the lines. That's it. That's right. Now, foot in your stirrup. Okay, now remember, horse is gonna know when you're afraid. I ain't afraid. Well, then you show him. Let him know who's boss. Call yourself on up there. Hey, you guys, watch this. Good. You guys. He let me get on him. Sure he did. <laughs> What'd you think he was going to do? I'm riding a horse, man. Hey, Michael, check this out. I'm riding a horse. <laughs> first things first. Remember that chirping sound I told you? Try that. OK. Better go, Twist. Hey, buddy. Now you're riding. Hey, ready for the rodeo. Put your boot back what? in the stirrup. Whoa! Whoa. Oh! 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 Are you all right? What do you expect? I never rid a horse before. No, hey, I think you did pretty good. So do I. I think if you wanted to, you could be a real cowboy. Hey, better luck yeah. Michael, I'm off to the tack room if you want me. Right. 
You want to try it again or leave it till tomorrow? <laughs> Am I going to be here tomorrow? Yeah, and the day after that and the week after that. But right now, I'd like it if you go help Vic and the kids mend that fence. All right. Oh, hey, I got something for you. Uh, after supper last night, I heard that girl Zoe, she told some other girl that uh, she hid the knives and forks and stuff under her bed. I know. She told me this morning. So I guess you'll get kicked out of some, huh? Let me tell you something. She watched her father just about knife her mother to death right in front of her when she was 12 years old. And now when she sees somebody with a knife or anything that looks like a knife in their hands, it scares her. So she's freaked. No, not all the time. But I'm not going to punish her for what she did, just like I'm not going to reward you for telling me. I just thought you'd want to know us. Yeah, that's cool. Now, <laughs> Twist, just do what Vic tells you. Don't let the other kids stick you with all the dirty work. How come we need them? Because Santos likes them. And the dealers like them. Well, I like them. Yeah, but if this thing's as big as the kids said it was, it's federal jurisdiction. They should be the ones. Twice I have been this close to nailing Santos. Twice. Those clowns always put the brakes on. That's their business. They don't have to work the street. They don't have to deal with kids robbing convenience stores because they can't stand not being high for one more second. It's about time, Miller. The feds will want wiretaps. Surveillance. They got to make the case. So Twist can give us the when and the where. I'm not a complete moron, guys. I get the picture. Just don't necessarily agree with it. Well, if the kid doesn't turn up, he will. Last time I saw him, he was with some Jamaican guy from 1117. Doing what? I don't know. He's an addict, right? So? 1117 does the needle van thing. I figured he was... Mortensen, he doesn't use a rig. He's a crackhead. All he needs a pipe and a light. I'm trying to take him off the street. Well, I can't have him. Let's go. here figures that I have done something for you, so you have to do something for me. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Okay. Why? Because when I got here, I was uh, pretty screwed up. And what did I do? I don't know. You straightened me out. I did? Who else? Well, I figure I owe you my life. That's a pretty big statement. It's true. They sent me here because I wanted to kill myself. But you didn't, and you're not going to. Who made that decision? Me. Yeah, you. Now, if you leave here feeling good about yourself, and you should feel good about yourself, it's because you made the choice. You now, there's only one voice you have to listen to in this life, and that's your own. What about you, Twist? You figure you still owe me? Of course. It's just the way it is. I don't care what you say. You do something for me, I gotta do something for you. And I can't just do something for you? Yeah, but then I gotta do something back. Ain't no such thing as something for nothing in this world. You sure? What about a gift? Nobody ever gave me no gift. What about when you're a kid at Christmas time? No. Nope. Well, I'd like you to have a gift. It's not worth much in terms of money, but it means a lot to me. I've had it since I was a kid. I keep it with me for luck. Here, take it. What about everybody else? Do you mind? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Here, take it. And you don't owe me. You don't owe me anything.
wait here a second. Oh, hi. Uh, my name's Jones. I'm from Social Services. I got a whole stack of, uh, well, two, actually, uh, checks for one of my kids' names, Twist. I know he comes here, and I uh, know he needs these. He keeps calling me about them. Is there any way you could give me some information as to where he is? That went pretty fast. Think you can handle it? Think you can keep up? <laughs> Just stay on. Just ain't right. What do you mean, Twist? I mean, I ain't doing it. Besides, I done dish duty last night. Well, not according to the chore list. Yeah, well, somebody messed with it then. I ain't doing it. Sorry. I was playing with the schedule. I probably messed it up. I'll do them tonight. Well, for God's sakes, man, do a good job this time. The last time you did the dishes. Vic, that's not for Sherlock. Okay, boss. Great expectations time, everybody. I don't mind doing them. I just... You stood up for yourself. Vic's reading Dickens in there. Why don't you go join him? I figured you might want some help. That's okay. You don't have to. I can't say thanks, can't I? Yeah, thanks. It's cool. You dry. for you? That don't mean I owe you. <laughs> well, I think it does. I've done everything you told me. Yeah, and I've done stuff for you because we are friends. Hmm? We got a long, long history together. Never got too cold on the street. Who so would you sleep on, hmm? Where now would you be if it wasn't for me? I want to get out. Now. Bad time and twist. Man, I don't want to do this. I want to stay here. You can come back here later. No, man, they got rules. And if you rabbit, it, you can't come back. Twist, you got to finish what you started. I need to get Santos. Help me take him down if you go ahead and be his go-between for this deal. Then a lot of kids won't have to go through what you are going through right now. Think about that. And 
you can say you were the one who did it, and I'll be looking out for you. Not in the car. And you didn't hear anything? No. He was just gone when I woke up. Figured he got up early or something. Okay, thanks, man. You better go get something to eat. I thought he liked it here. So did I, but he came here on his own. If he wants out, there's not much we can do to stop him. Yeah, but I find that hard to believe that's what he wants. So do I. Michael, I think you should come and take a look at this. The car was parked here last night. Probably domestic, late model. How do you know what kind of car it is? Tracker's instinct, ma'am. Maybe I'll take you hunting for wild edge back one day. <laughs> you see this? Yeah. That's what scares me. Two sets of prints. Great. Well, what is it? I can't believe they'd have the nerve. Who? Huh. Twist was a police informant. Do you think the police took him? No. One guy who obviously isn't too happy about his snitch being off of the street. Well, maybe he wanted to go with him. There's no sign of a struggle. Yeah, but I don't buy it. What are you going to do? I don't know. But the thought of playing tug of war with a kid's life scares the hell out of me. He show up. Good to see you too. Want a coffee? No, thanks. Hey, Chris. Huh. Wakey, wakey. Hey, time to go to work. Oh. Come on, man. Don't do breakfast in bed. You're gonna have to get up. <laughs> Asked you a question. Ask him yourself. Hey, Twist, where you been? I had this dream, man. And I was flying. Yeah, he was flying. On a horse, man. I was flying on a horse. <laughs> yeah, man, you don't have a taste on you, do you? Bacon and eggs. How's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know when I'll be back. We you know. If you need to talk him into coming back, tell him I'm starting a tale of two cities tomorrow night. If that doesn't bring him running back, I don't know what will. Pull down the port. So what'd you do before Twist came along? Oh, I had another kid. He's pretty good, too. His name was... Gregor. Gregor. <laughs> What's so funny? Eh. That was before I moved here. Back when I was married. It was uh, in the winter. Real cold spell. So I let him sleep on the sofa. And my wife, at the time, didn't appreciate that too much. So she, she comes out of the shower one morning, and she sees Gregor's rifling through her panty drawers. <laughs> He's looking for a couple bucks so he can go get high. Well, she freaked. She drove him out of the house half naked and throwing everything she could think of at him. <laughs> I guess he never came back, huh? Ah, I kept him a couple more years. Wife and I didn't make it that far. We got divorced. <laughs> Never lasted as long as Twist, though.
Mr. Santos? My friends have been looking all over for you. I had a good score. I've been at a house. You look pretty good for a boy who spent a week in a crack house. I'm okay. I worry about you. I worry about me too. I uh, heard you need some diplomacy with Bertels. Someone to help us communicate. Do not trust those animals. You want to see his eyes? Maybe you ask him nice for me, huh? you thought the officer would mind having his informant taken out of circulation. We didn't ask. And we sure as hell didn't think he'd just take him. Can't blame me there. We want him back. Mm -hmm. He wants out. He's making real progress. Forgive me for saying this, Michael, but you always say that. And even if it's true, the street's got something you can't give him. He's a crackhead. You could stand this kid in front of a moving train if you offered him a taste. We've got to find out who the cop is. All right, I'll just ask around the locker room. If you think it'll help. I know quite a few cops. And a lot of them use informants. But they wouldn't tell me their names in a million years, Michael. Look, thanks for your time. Yeah, just a second, Pen. There's got to be something going down that Twist knows about. That's why this cop needs him. And maybe it's a good reason. You're just as bad as the cops, man. You don't care about this kid. Hey, look, nobody forced this kid to go with him, all right? That's what you said, isn't it? I mean, don't be so damn self-righteous. You know how rough it is out there on those streets. I'll look at his arrest record. I assume he has an arrest record, and I'll go down the list of arresting officers. A cop needs to have something over an informant to start a relationship rolling. Maybe that's how they met. That's a good start. Good, good. And if you find something? All right, Michael. I'll ask a few questions. Thanks. We gotta move. No, no. We're not protecting him from a damn thing. Montanos is just in a very bad mood. Sam, Santos wants the deal to go down before church, I guess. Right. Now 
No, nothing yet. You? I just found out Twist was arrested a half a dozen times for the possession of crack cocaine, but by a half a dozen different officers. Any names you recognized? Uh, Roland Blake. Why is that name familiar? Oh, he was a guest of honor at the banquet we were at last week. Oh, yeah. Well, that doesn't rule him out, does it? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't rule him in either. But I'll keep checking around. Okay, thanks, Reed. Terry, police officer, I'd like to talk to you. Did you take Twist from my ranch? No. Can you tell me who did? No. Then we got nothing to talk about. I'm gonna bring the kid back to your ranch after tomorrow. What's tomorrow? When Twist came out to your ranch, he was in the middle of something. He's gonna have to finish it. Why? Can't the cop he works for function without him? Look, I gave you my promise, I'd bring him back. You ask questions, you ask around, it only makes it more dangerous for the kid. Tell me what's going down. Just wait a day, Doc. If you shut up, leave things be, it'll all be over in a day. Look, man, if you don't got no more, then give me the money and I'll go get it. No, I want you straight for this. Don't worry, I'll be looking out for you tomorrow. Santos and Bertellos are bad dudes, man. I know. So am I. You cold? Yeah. Yeah. So keep you warmer. You can call this a gift for doing this. Thanks. I am proud of you. You know that? comes around here sometimes. He's just a little kid. Comes to the top of my boots. Yeah. But he knows a lot of people. You'll know. Well, then, uh, I guess we wait. Could be waiting all night, you know that? Yeah. That cop telling her that he'd bring Twist back to the ranch. That sound like good news. Should be happy about that. Don't take me wrong, man, but we could go home and wait. I want to find out what's going down tomorrow. Whatever it is, it's big time. You don't have no business in that. And now they're just twist. Yo, Willie, what? Pin, give me it back. I will, man, sure. But first, you have to give me some information. Who's that? A friend of mine. We want to know where Twist is. What he's got to do with what's going down today. Hundred bucks. You want this back or not? Keep it. Hundred bucks. Save a lot of time, Michael. That's all I got. <laughs> no way, man. Where is he? And what's going down? Look, man, all I know is he's a stand between. Santos and Bartellos are supposed to be making some big deal. But I don't know. He wouldn't even deal with him. 
I bet 20 bills it's a hit. Where? Federal shipyards. officers were hurt but it is known that Roland Blake a recent recipient of the Francis Teal Award for community service was among the officers on the scene come on here he is let's go Jerry. Jerry. detective Blake detective Blake can you tell us what happened 
Everybody loves a winner. Looks like the good guys win again. Yeah. I gonna walk home. See you later. All right. Nobody ever gave me no gift.